Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very, very happy to be connecting with you today. It's a Tuesday. It is the first day of May. And uh, finally, it looks like we're getting some summer weather after we had a couple of uh, <laughs> hiccups on the way between here and there. In Hawaii here, the entire month of April was met with rain. So much so that our beloved island of Kauai got nailed in one corner of the island. But in any case, today, that's not what we're talking about. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can apply love to solve virtually any problem in your life and practical applications of that. So if that sounds like something that is of interest to you, I encourage you to stick around. I think that it will uh, touch a lot of hearts and souls and assist a lot of people. Very time, uh, often, uh, the simple wisdom is the one that has the greatest impact and the greatest effect. But equally often, the simple wisdom sometimes is the most difficult to apply because it feels out of reach or difficult to grasp. Hopefully, with today's wisdom, it will be easier to grasp and easier to apply. So for those that uh, are unable to stick around this entire time, I do encourage you to like and subscribe and you'll be notified when I do go live. And also at, the, at my Facebook page at the top is a banner that indicates when I go live in different time zones. I got to update it to include India even though it's quite early in the morning there uh, for some of my live streams. They, they do like to know when I go live. So okay, I'll update it. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for clicking on the share button to let other people know about these live streams. I'm sure the that one person can be touched by this and that's good karma for you because if it benefits them then their soul sends you blessings it's a good thing actually that happened today uh, I was doing a class this morning and we were offering blessings to each other using soul language and um, at the end of the blessings that we were offering to each other using soul language soul song I did a short soul reading and the reading said that when the group was offering a soul blessing to an individual, that all the Akashic records opened up of, of the person offering the blessing and the person receiving the blessing. And there was an exchange of virtue. The person offering the blessing using their soul song uh, was um, giving of their virtue to the other person to assist them. The person receiving their soul was very very grateful and offering gratitude virtue in return so there is an equal exchange of virtue and what was happening at the level of the akashic records is that uh, both of their records were getting cleansed one from gratitude the other one from service and it just goes to show you just how balanced heaven is how fair heaven is with this simple wisdom and in essence it was a show of love which is what today's topic is. It was a service of unconditional love. And as a result, uh, spiritual debt was cleared between these two souls at some level. Uh, certainly probably not all of it, but certainly some of it, and that's all beneficial. So the, the wisdom can be very deep and at the same time very simple. So let's see who's joined us here today. Welcome to Vanessa Fitti, Aloha Kristen Strachan. Welcome also to Janice Crosby Carter, Heather McNee. Welcome, welcome Carol Pico. Aloha and welcome to Patty Laramore. Welcome Carol Whitney and Luna. Aloha Jennifer. Welcome also to uh, Ben Garzuzzi. And welcome also to Pamela. Aloha and welcome Alicia and Jim. Welcome Lolly. Uh, Welcome also to Kathy Arnold, and marie Stewart. Good morning and welcome Rose, Aspasia, welcome Maddie. And uh, anybody else I might have missed, welcome. I don't see everybody's names pop up. So um, one of the things I want to mention early on is that I have a couple of um, programs coming up. And one of them is called 52 Weeks to Self-Healing, of Self-Healing. And uh, people can sign up in a one-month increment or a three-month increment. Uh, I, I call the 52 weeks of self-healing because it's an opportunity to have a dedicated path towards 
transforming whatever you want in your life to transform, whether it's physical, emotional problem, mental problem, or all the above, financial problems, relationship problems, they all can be transformed. And um, you hear in my live streams a spattering of wisdoms, um, but the ability to receive them in an orderly fashion, which is what this 52-week program is, is truly, truly remarkable. And what I'll be doing is working through Master Shaw's books one by one, working directly with passages from them, and teaching wisdom and actual practices, uh, and repeating them and a midweek practice. So you'll have a dedicated focus and practice time twice a week um, to bring about the results you've always wanted in your life, to help yourself be happier and healthier. You didn't get unhealthy and unhappy uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, accidentally. And it will take a little bit of effort to bring it back to a place of balance. So for those of you that um, really want to turn around your life, I do recommend you sign up for the course. Kristen Rojas just posts the link in her um, chat box and you can learn more there. It's very, very affordable. I made it basically free um, because I want to have 100 people signed up for this. I really want to help as many souls as possible to bring healing to themselves. So take a gander at that and um, trust that it doesn't matter how many courses you've taken or what you think it might bring to you. It will bring you a lot more than you think. All right. Let me do one thing here. Somehow, on my live stream days, my apartment complex always uh, schedules the, um, the gardeners. They like to mow their lawns right when I do my live streams. I think they, they got their spiritual channels open. So welcome also to Liz Costanza. Welcome also to Jessica Gregory. Great to see you here. Rita and Rosemary. Uh, aloha to anyone else if the name I haven't mentioned. Welcome. Thank you for coming. So also as Kristen has dropped into her chat box, I will be doing an open spiritual channels 12-week course. It will be the third course I've offered. So far about 35 students have come through this course and a lot of accolades, a lot of positive comments, people opening the spiritual channels, some of them being able to see heavenly images for the first time, some of them reopening the channels that have been closed since childhood, uh, many of them finding uh, far better health conditions than they were when they started. That course is uh, condensed and, and full of wisdom, so you can check out that course as well. That'll be, both of these will be starting in about three to four weeks. Okay? All right, let's go into preparing for today while other souls are arriving for this live stream. Let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart, right hand remains pointed towards heaven. We close our eyes and I'll invite in the beings of light for today's practice. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao and the source. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence and your blessings today. Dear the soul of all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, all heaven's generals and soldiers, heaven's animals, Akashic record leaders and workers, <clears throat> all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, Amitofu, Da Shujara Pusa, Lingwei Sheng Shir, Kuan Yin, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, and more. Beloved Mother Earth, the soul of the sun and the moon, all the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, we love you, honor you, respect you, and we thank you for your unconditional service to humanity. We ask most humbly for your presence today and any blessings that you wish to offer that can assist us all to release the blockages that we hold on to in our life that keep us from having health and happiness. Please bless us to further develop our understanding of love and unconditional love and how love can literally transform any area of our life. Please bless this wisdom, this practice in whatever way is most appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those that are new, we do chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony one round to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So I invite at this time all souls in all universes to chant this soul song with us. So let us connect, let us chant to serve. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, la, Li. Lula, Lula. 
la li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la ha li lu la wo ai wo xian er ling wo ai ran ran lei wang li rong har mu shi shang Xiong ai ping on the xie, Xiong ai ping on the xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining. Thank you also for clicking on the share button to let other people know about today. So last night when I was checking guidance as to what to offer today. I was shown in my third eye this book, Master Shah recently put out called *The Greatest Love*, <clears throat> and I was told to expand on the nature of love and how it can heal everything. <clears throat> and so I said, "Okay." I did not do any homework around it at that time. And this morning, after I went for a short walk around outside, I、uh, came back in, sat down, and picked up this book, and was guided to a certain page that I'll be sharing with you now, and I'll be expanding upon that, and we'll. Do some practices, okay? So thank you all for coming. Thank you, Colleen.、Uh, thank you, M. A. Drayd. Thank you, Becky Lefav. Aloha and welcome to Atena. Welcome,、uh, Liz Castano.、Uh, anybody else if I missed you, forgive me. Thank you and welcome. <clears throat> so this is in Master Shah's words, and he's talking about the introduction of this book and how it came. He says, through my spiritual communication channels. I have received four sacred phrases to further explain each of these ten da qualities. The ten da's being、um, the greatest love, forgiveness, compassion, light; the greatest humility; the greatest harmony; the greatest flourishing; the greatest service; the greatest enlightenment. I might have missed one, but those are the ten da's. And、um, he goes on to explain that having explained to him that the ten da's. Are the nature of the Tao Source, which is another word for the Creator. The Tao Source is another word for Creator, and then there is the nature. So these ten Da's are the nature of Tao Source. So again, what are the ten Da? The greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion and light. These are natural attributes of the Source Creator. Naturally, the greatest harmony, the greatest flourishing. Okay. Greatest humility, greatest service and enlightenment. These are all attributes, built-in qualities of the Tao Source Creator, God, Jesus, whatever you、uh, image or or terminology you understand. Okay, don't square your head. <clears throat> and this is the wisdom given to him. He was told, have and explain to him that these are the、uh, qualities. Of the Creator, they are the nature of all kinds of saints, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, archangels, and more in heaven. So think about that. How do these beings of light become beings of light? How do archangels become angels? How does Jesus become Jesus and Buddha become Buddha? How does Krishna become Krishna? How do these beings of light become a being of light? By actualizing. These qualities in their life, in their thoughts, words, and actions, they are unconditional love. They are the deepest compassion. They are the greatest humility. They are actualizations of these ten qualities. So then he goes on to say, they carry the purest. These beings carry the purest Shen, Qi, and Jing of the heaven and the source. And Shen Qi and Jing is Mandarin Chinese. It means the purest soul, the purest heart, the purest mind, the purest energy, and the finest purest matter. 
And that's what makes them beings of light because their purity is very, very high. Then he repeats, generally speaking, human beings do not embody these ten da qualities in every moment. But everyone has these natures within them. We do not express these qualities freely because our Shen Qin Jing has become polluted. Our soul, our heart, our mind, our energy and matter have become polluted. So it's hard for us as humans to uh, expand on these qualities. We comprehend them, but the application of them in life becomes a bit more difficult. Why? Because our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter are polluted. And then he has a one sentence uh, statement that very clearly explains this. He says, if a fish lives in polluted water, the fish could become sick or could die. Common sense, right? Fish swimming around in polluted water probably going to get sick, going to grow things on its skin and its scales, and it's going to, you know, die. This is a very simple fact. To save the fish, we must purify the water. Well, it makes sense, right? Start pumping in clean water, all of a sudden the fish is happy, it's dancing around, it's going to live. The same is true for the human being. The human being is sick because they have lived in a polluted environment. Think about that. And we're not talking about just, you know, toxicity in the air or water. It is necessary and important to address all the pollutions in our world. Of course, there is air pollution, water pollution, food pollution, and more. But the most vital pollution that must be addressed is the pollution of our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. This is the pollution that almost everybody doesn't pay any attention to, okay? And it's the pollution that inhibits us from having happiness, okay? How many of you are going to be here today following me and all these teachings if you were just hunky-dory happy all of your life? You wouldn't be here, that's for sure. You're here because you're trying to make things a little bit better in your life, okay? Uh, if you were hunky-dory happy, you'd be out climbing a mountain somewhere, singing to the sun, and, and, and just, you know, you wouldn't be here. And so most of us are here because we want to be happier and we want to be healthier and we're looking for some solutions. Um, and why is it so difficult? Because our soul, our heart, our mind, our energy and matter are being bombarded by pollution, but not the pollution that you know it as, the different kind of pollution. He goes on to say, because this pollution accounts for much much of the sickness that we see today to help people to be happy and healthy is to clean the water. If we want the fish to be happy and healthy, we got to clean the water. Okay? We're not talking about physical water now. If you want the human being to be happy and healthy, we have to clean the Shen Qi Jing. We have to purify the soul, the heart, the mind, all the negativity, right? We have to clean these things out. And then we'll be like a happy fish swimming in clean water. Life all of a sudden gets better, 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 better. It's common sense when you break it down. So the ten das are stepping stones to accomplish this. Step by step, little by little. Shen, the word shen, shen qi jing, shen includes soul, heart, and mind. All of these can become polluted or blocked. Soul pollutions, what is the pollution of the soul, right? Soul pollutions and soul blockages include all kinds of unpleasant thoughts, words, and actions. Now, that's loosely referred to as negative karma, right? Negative karma. People don't like that word karma so much. It's like karma. I'm so sick and tired of hearing karma. Karma this, karma that. Okay, let's play around with the words a little bit. Let's say it's pollution of negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, negative choices, negative thoughts, words, and actions that have been brought upon us. That's pollution in our environment, right? And negative thoughts, words, and actions that we've brought upon others. We've all gossiped. We've all done these things, right? So these are different kinds of pollutions. In every moment, we are creating these kinds of negative karmas. If, or if, our thoughts, words, and actions cause harm to another being. 
So this pollution isn't literally a self-made pollution. Doesn't that suck to think about it? We have an unpleasant thought, we judge, critical, whatever it might be. We're literally creating pollution in our environment. So as a fish, it's like going poop in our own water, right? So we have to be responsible for this. So we gotta clean up the pollution. This includes gossiping, speaking negatively about others, having unkind thoughts about others, and doing harmful or hurtful things such as lying, cheating, stealing, killing, taking advantage of others. Now most of us I'm sure are not doing that, but we probably have in the past and we may have some unpleasant history that we don't remember. We also have made these kinds of mistakes and harmed others through our words and so forth. So what is loosely referred to as karma? Think of it kind of like pollution that sits on our soul over the course of time. And it creates an environment in which sometimes we find ourselves in a lack of health and happiness, kind of like the fish swimming in polluted water. Eventually that fish is going to get sick and die. And so are we, if we don't consciously take steps to purify the pollution. So that's where we start to apply this wisdom. Heart pollutions, right? Soul, heart, mind. Heart pollutions can include greed, jealousy, jealousies, right? Anger, lack of, um, lack of intelligence, lack of heart intelligence. We can have mind blockages around relationship, mind blockages around money. All of these are pollutions and they disallow us from living a long time. Now, I was listening to Master Shah this morning on a, on a YouTube and it was actually not an easy video to find. I was just kind of stumbling around and I came across it and it was a teaching for his um, master teachers, what's referred to as divine channels. And I was in this actual live workshop about four years ago and uh, I was listening to this again going, wow, I remember that, but I got a much deeper layer out of it. And here is a couple of snippets of wisdom that he shared. He said, Tao is the source creator. Source creator is everything. You call it God, call it whatever you want, Tao source creator. He said, everyone knows that Tao source creator creates everything. But what very few people understand is that the source creator nurtures everything, feeds everything, gives the food, gives the energy, the chi, right? We wouldn't be alive without the source creator animating us with life source energy, right? You wouldn't be here. If the life source creator unplugs you, you're done. So who is nourishing you? Who is feeding the stream of water that you're swimming in? Tao source creator is constantly nourishing and nurturing us. Did you ever hear from your source creator saying, um, That'll be a dollar fifty a day, please. Tao Source Creator doesn't ask anything in return. Nothing. You know who else is another servant? He referred to this. He says, This is a perfect example for humanity to follow. This is a perfect example of an unconditional love. What's the topic for today? How to solve every problem in your life with love. We have before us a model. That model is of unconditional love. Who is the model? The model is our creator. What is the model doing to show us the path? The model is showing us, I am giving to everyone and everything unconditionally, nurturing everyone and everything. Does this model judge? Do you think the model actually says, I like this person over here, I don't like this person over here. Yes, I know they both came from me. Yes, I know I gave birth to both these souls, but I just don't like this soul. I like this soul over here. Do you think your creator does that? Of course not. Because your creator is unconditional love. This is where we came from. And the pollution in our soul, heart, mind, and in your matter keep us from recognizing this truth. So, when we start to bring into our life the attributes that the unconditional nurturing source creator shows us, we can start being more love, more forgiveness, more compassion. 
We can be these ten das. We can have more humility. We can be more harmonious. What is being more harmonious? That means not gossiping. That means not complaining. I was complaining two minutes before uh, I opened the door. And my wife reminded me. I said, okay, thank you, honey. Right? We always have to catch ourselves. I'm so far from, from anything close to perfect. I'm like, you know, another 95% to go. But it's a constancy of reminding ourselves where we can adjust to improve and clean the purity of our pollution. Um, the when Master Shah was teaching this, he said, well, what about Mother Earth? How long has Mother Earth been here? They know at least four billion years. Mother Earth has not died in at least the last four billion years. How often does human beings die? Uh, about 100, 125 years old maximum that, they, that they're able to record. Okay, So he explained, he said, why does Mother Earth and Heaven live as long as they do? Why does the human being die in 120 years? He said, because of the pollution. Mother Earth is constantly nurturing, gives unconditionally, asks for absolutely nothing in return. Nothing. Unconditional servant. He said, he then went on a little side note, and he said, you know, some people, they say, well, why do you charge the Master Shah for your services? They explain, how do, you, how do you think I can go around the world explaining this wisdom? Someone's got to pay for the hotel. Someone's got to pay for the, you know, the, the, just to run a business. It can't run by itself. So, you know, there's not a lot of generous hearts out there to donate. So I give a lot of things free. And if people need to have their lives saved, uh, those who can afford it, pay. Those who can't, I use some of those monies and I pay for others that can't afford it. But, you know, I have to move the ball and wake up humanity. He says, you know, it's never been about the money, but that's how the world runs as long as we use it wisely and well in a, in a manner that is very uh, filled with humility. Then there's nothing wrong with it. He says, he's explained there's nothing wrong with money or with receiving money. It's how it's used and what is the purpose behind it. So he wanted to clear that up in the middle of his teaching to us. So I just give you that little slice of wisdom as well. So anyway, what's the key points here? Mother Earth, our Creator, the Divine, have swam through the pollutions that we are now swimming in. And they've come out the other side. And how did they get to live as long as they've lived without the same problems that you and I have, without the sufferings you and I have? Because they are unconditional love. They are pure representatives of unconditional love. So how then do we apply that in our life? Well, we apply it using the five powers that Master Shah has brought to us. These are very simple foundational wisdoms. Very hard to argue with any of them. Uh, very easy to adopt them in our life. So it's easy to comprehend them. Okay, I'm all in on the wisdom, but how do I apply this every day in my life? Very simply, you move to the next layer of wisdom that was brought, applying the five powers. Body power, mind power, sound power, soul power, and the new power that was brought to us, writing power. When we apply these five powers and just do them, life starts changing. How do you purify the water, right? If a sick, if, if a fish swims in polluted water, the, the fish will become sick and die. Very simple. If you uh, do not do anything about the pollution that's in your world, the uh, mental pollution, the karmic pollution, the negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, everything else, then you know, you're not going to live as long as you need to and you're not going to be as happy and healthy as you need to. So, hey, if you're happy with the way things are going, by all means, keep going. No problem. That's the direction you need to go to learn what you need to learn. But if you're a bit tired of it and you would like to be proactive in the cleaning process, apply the five powers. Body power, sound power, mind power, soul power, and writing power. So in Master Shah's book, The Greatest Love, this new one come out, highly, highly, highly recommend it for anyone and everyone. This is a very user-friendly beginner book. Doesn't matter if a person's a Bible thumper. Doesn't matter if they're a Quran lover. It doesn't matter what their um, uh, belief system is. Everyone can relate to the greatest love. And it has no uh, information in here that, um, that anyone has a resistance to. So it's beautiful. I just read this wisdom to you. Look at how it resonates with you. <clears throat> and so, 
When we apply something simple on a consistent basis, we can move mountains. It's just the application. We, in this case, love. Love is the first of the ten da's. Why is it the first? Why is it not seven, eight, or ten? Because if you can, um, if you can just stay in this, it will melt everything else. Why? Because what does unconditional love do? Look at how long Mother Earth lived. Look at how long heaven's been around. Creator. They are the purity of the love. That is the purest water that a fish can swim in. That is the purest water that a human being can swim in. And when you expand love from yourself in your thoughts, in your words, in your actions, by doing this practice that we're about ready to do on a consistent basis, when you just do that, what in essence are you doing? You're like a fish swimming in your ocean of pollution and you're like pushing out the pollution in front of you with this wave of this love by using these five powers. And by doing this every day, every day, every day, you are self-purifying the pollution you're swimming in. And what happens when you self-purify that pollution? You are creating a happier, healthier life in front of you, the one you can't see right now, maybe because you're too busy complaining like I was before I started this, right? I was simple complaining about some of the noise outside, how, you know, and I joked about it, you know, how they, they seem to always run the lawnmowers when I do the live streams, right? I was complaining about it. Shouldn't be, but that's pollution, right? And so if, my wife told me this, she said, just send them love. Maybe they'll stop. And I said, no, they'll still come same time every day on Tuesday. But if I send them love, I won't create karma, right? Cleaning the pollution. And so we can learn from this. You can learn from my mistakes. We can learn from each other's mistakes. Five powers. What do we do? We use the mantra that was received by Master Shah. And when I say received, what does that mean? That means he didn't make up the words. He received this wisdom. Here's what he received for the first of the ten da's called the greatest love. He received four phrases, Mandarin Chinese words, and I'm going to translate them for you so in English. Each, everybody repeat. Repeat. Next one. Wu Tiao Jian I. Repeat. Wu Tiao Jian I. The third line. Rong Hua Zai Nang. Repeat. Rong Hua Zai Nang. Xin Ching Shan Ming. Repeat. Xin Ching Shan Ming. Now I know it's Mandarin Chinese. I know your brain goes in a tangle when you try to repeat it. That's okay. We'll do it many times during this. Go get the book. You can easily learn it. It's quite beautiful. Now understand the words. Yi shi da ai means the first, first, give the greatest love. This is where it all starts. First, give the greatest love. That's the first sentence. The second sentence, wu tiao jian ai. Wu Tao Jian Ai. He explains the sun, the moon, mother earth, heaven are all giving unconditional love. Tao gives unconditional love. Giving unconditional love, you could receive unlimited blessings. So, what's the translation of Wu Tao Jian Ai? Wu means no. Tiao Jian means condition, no condition. Ai means love. So, the literal translation is no condition love unconditional love. So the first two sentences are, first give love, give unconditional love. That's the first two sentences. The third sentence, rong hua zai nang. Rong hua means melts, M-E-L-T-S, melts. Zai nang means challenges and disasters. Melts, challenges, and disasters. How many people have problems with their finances? How many people have problems with their relationships? How many people have problems with their health? Right? How many people have problems with their jobs? Okay, you can see 200 hands flying up right now. What's the third line? 
melts disasters and challenges. Now, this is the reason why the five power uh, structure works to clear the pollution in our life, in our water, is because we are applying sound power, which is the mantra, mind power, creative visualization, we're applying soul power, which is exceedingly important because everything starts at the level of soul. Our physical world pollution we're living in is because our soul had many, many lifetimes and we made wrong choices and that pollutes our water. So when we do these mantras, we're healing things at the level of soul. We're purifying our water, we're purifying our life. So when we chant, when we chant, the third line melts all challenges and disasters. Literally, we are purifying the water in front of us in our pollution field, and we are melting challenges and disasters by focusing on love and unconditional love. That's where our focus needs to be. Literally, as a result of this focus, we are melting problems in our life. What was the title? of this uh, live stream. How to apply love to fix all the problems in your life. Like, well, I wish it was that simple, right? I got this problem, this problem. Okay, it literally can be simple if you apply the wisdom. Not gonna happen overnight, gotta be consistent, but it can happen, okay? That was the third line. The fourth line, Shin Ching Shan Ming. Shin means heart. Shin, X I N, heart. Ching means clear or transparent. The heart is clear or transparent. Shen, Shen is soul, heart, and mind. And Ming means enlightenment. So the final phrase, Shin Chi Chung Ming, means clears your heart and enlightens your soul, heart, and mind. So all four lines, all four lines. Yi shi da ai wu tiao jian ai rong hua zai nang xin xin shen ming. What does it break down to? First, give the greatest love. Give unconditional love. Melt all the challenges and the disasters. Clear your heart and enlighten your soul, heart, and mind. That's the four lines. So when you chant this and you apply the five powers, miracles are on their way. Why? Because you are radiating heaven frequency. At that moment, you are radiating source frequency. You are radiating the highest water purifying frequencies, highest pollution purifying frequencies at that moment. It's not the words, guys. That's an aspect of it. It's the application of all five powers. So let's connect all five powers and chant, okay? So everybody, sit up straight wherever you're at. So I see Cheryl's comment about so happy when she can purchase this book. 12 or $13 on Amazon, okay? Very, very affordable. Anybody can put a couple nickels together and get 12 bucks. Get it right away. It's got a calligraphy in it, okay? It will serve you. <clears throat> First power, body power. You've all learned soul light hand position. It's like a prayer position. You just put the left hand in front of your heart center and the right hand still remains pointed towards heaven in prayer position. This is your body power. Why does this work? Because heaven's frequencies are coming through your hand into your heart center. Very simple. Okay. So this is your body power. Your sound power is this four line mantra. Tristan will post the words and you'll hear me chanting it. Okay. And you'll, you'll become tuned into it. It's very beautiful. For the mind power, what are you going to visualize? You're going to visualize 
yourself becoming purer and lighter and the pollution of negativities falling off you the pollution of of financial blockages going away the pollution of of any um complaining about your life you just see it melting away because it is when you do this with love Isher I love unconditional love we're going to give unconditional love to who how about to ourselves why not okay we can give unconditional love to God to Tao to source you can give it to Jesus to to Archangel Michael whoever you want to when we give our unconditional love to our soul anything outside of us what is the natural side effect love going out automatically comes back to us what does that do to purify your pollution field it automatically helps to purify and clear your pollution field you are then consciously proactively involved in clearing the polluted environment making your life happier and healthier just by the application of this practice that's the sound power and the mind power for the soul power we connect with all the souls and I will walk you through that in a minute for the fifth power the writing power when you get this book it will you will discover that there is a blessed calligraphy in it and it's right here it's da I which is the greatest love I'm not going to go into explaining why it will help you just have to trust that when you read the book master Shaw explains it quite well why it works for those of you that have the book get the book out if you don't have this exact book and you have a different master Shaw book with a calligraphy get that book out do what you can to trace the calligraphy during this practice okay um, I will trace for all of you that don't have the book so don't worry about that so now let's complete this everybody sit up straight Place your hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Drop your left hand in front of your heart center, the right hand pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. No more chatting back and forth. Be part of the practice. Close your eyes. Be fully present. Bring your thoughts, your mind, your breath into your heart center. Breathe into your heart center. Ask God, your creator, to come to sit in your heart center connect to their energy if you believe in mother earth nature whatever connects your soul ask that beautiful soul to sit in your heart center connect to that power to that source give love to that power right now give love and then if it is comfortable please repeat after me dear my beloved divine creator Dear all of the beings of light who have come forth today. Dear my heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. I love you. I honor you. I deeply appreciate you. So very, very grateful for the sharing of your life force energy to bless me today. Could you please bless me to further purify my soul, heart, mind and body could you bless me to further clear the pollution of my life so that I can be happier and healthier I am extremely extremely grateful thank you continue to repeat that's talking to the outer souls now we talk to the inner souls do the soul of my soul heart mind and body I love you you have the power to clear the pollutions of negative thoughts words and actions that pollute my fields do a good job thank you and now we do a quick forgiveness dear all souls in all time if I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to you offering negative unpleasant hurtful thoughts words or actions there truly is no excuse I wish to sincerely apologize I wish to learn 
and not make these same mistakes again. I know I have made these mistakes and I recognize them, but I am doing better. And if you would please offer me your unconditional forgiveness, I would be extremely grateful as this would allow me to purify and become a better servant for my own soul and to help others. Thank you. To all of the souls in this lifetime and others that have offered unpleasant thoughts, words, and actions to me, I release you fully and completely. I have been holding on to many unpleasant thoughts about how you treated me, many unpleasant words and considerations about how I might get even with you. And these have polluted my environment. I now wish to release you fully and completely. You owe me nothing. There is no more karmic debt between us. Let us move forward in love, peace, and harmony and clear our pollution fields. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now that we've set everything up, let us chant these four line mantra for those that have a calligraphy. Trace the Da'ai calligraphy. I will invoke this calligraphy and trace for all of you. Dear the soul of this Da'a calligraphy, the countless blessings within. I love you, honor you, I bow to you. Can you please subdivide your soul? Go to everybody watching this live stream, everybody listening to the podcast. Offer blessings as appropriate to assist them to apply these practices easily in their life. Bless them with enough money to get this book so that they can bless their own lives consistently. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So no need to make a request. You are offering unconditional service right now. You are visualizing that you are helping humanity through this service. Let us chant. And look for Kristen's post. She'll post the words. greatest love to your Creator. Offer your greatest love to Mother Earth, to all the beings of light. Tell them silently how grateful you are. Zainan <laughs> 
身心生命，一时代无条件爱荣华，在那身心生命。一时代，无条件爱，荣华在那身心生命。Greatest love. Unconditional love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Rong hua zai nang xin xin shen ming yi shi dai wu tiao jian ai rong hua. 在那身心生命 ，Give love to yourself, greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages. Purifies my heart and soul. Yi shi dai, wu tiao jian ai, rong hua zai nang xin xin shen ming. 一时代，无条件爱，荣华在那心心生命。Greatest love, uncon. Conditional love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. And now silently, from inside your heart, bow your head to your beloved Creator. Bow your head. To the beings of light that offered their unconditional service to you, bow your head to your own soul for its love, guidance, and blessings to you in this life. Bow your head to all of the souls that have offered you their unconditional forgiveness, even though you may have caused great suffering to them. Be very grateful. Bow your head with gratitude. Bow your head to yourself for this love and this purification of some of the pollution of your life. Bow your head gently to Master Shah's Master Shah's soul for bringing this wisdom to humanity. Very simple wisdom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ha, ha, ha. 
So as you can see, it can be very simple to transform our life. It does not have to be complicated. If you went around chanting this, if you went around chanting love, peace, and harmony, you may not see instant results. Things still may be happening in your life that knock you sideways. But if you are consistent, if you apply love, unconditional love, to everything that enters your life, it will get better. It's virtually an impossibility for it not to get better. The only thing that stands in the way is time. And time is as a result of the depth of the karma we all hold. So if it doesn't change overnight, you just keep going. Eventually it will. It may get a little bit better, a little bit better, and then it backslides a little bit. That's okay. You just keep going. Because really, what else have you got to lose? How's it been going with the complaining? Is that gonna help you in the long haul? Doesn't help me. I can't imagine helping anybody else. Much better to apply these simple wisdoms and purify the environment we swim in because in the long run we're responsible for it and so this is very simple application of great high level wisdom to bring us a field of energy by applying the five powers so uh, I look forward to reading your sharing about this experience and uh, as a reminder to all those that came in late uh, on May 20th I'll be starting a course and it's called um, 52 weeks of self-healing. You can join for a month at a time or three months at a time and experience direct teachings directly from Master Shah's books one by one and I'll be revealing the deeper innate wisdoms and we'll be applying them. And because of the focused pattern twice a week and a Sunday teaching and then a midweek teaching a practice, you'll be in a consistent place where you're getting consistent practice because it, it comes with um, responsibility and homework and you'll be held accountable. And so in this way, you'll actually do what it's going to take to bring you back to health. So make sure that you check into that course. It's extremely affordable. Uh, and if anybody says they can't afford it, guess what? I don't believe it because anybody can afford 10 bucks a week. Um, and so, uh, and if you can't afford it, it's because that's one of the blockages. So by doing these practices, you'll have a better chance of clearing those blockages versus continuing to swim in the pollution. If you're interested in further developing your spiritual channels, talking to the divine, uh, opening your third eye or opening it more, being able to understand what those images actually mean, then pay attention to my course coming up called Open Spiritual Channels. Okay? So I thank you all so much for coming and sharing. Uh, I thank you so much for everything that you've done. Uh, I don't see, I see some comments coming in, but my, my chat box is not moving, so I don't know if it's locked at the moment or not. Um, I think, Kristen, if you could unpin that, that would be great. Then I can see the comments coming in. <clears throat> so, we offer our gratitude. Thank you, the Divine, the Tao, the Source, the Beloved Creator. Thank you to all of the beings of light serving the planet of the light side. Thank you to Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul, for bringing this wisdom to humanity. Thank you to the soul of the Ten Da's and soul of Da'ai, the greatest love. Thank you to all of those souls that came here today to offer their service. And I thank you for sharing this live stream and telling others about this. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to connect with me. So let us offer our gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Gong song means respectfully return to all the beings of light who came. So thank you everyone, and I will see you on Thursday. I will start three hours earlier than today, 9 a.m. Hawaii time. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye everybody.